Because we have to know that Prophet Muhammad والسلام, explained in the hadith who's the smart one among this ummah. Who's the smart one? Some people will think the smart one who has, for example, higher degree of education or is smart because he's a businessman or he is smart because he's powerful or he is smart because he's well famous among the human being. No, no. The Rasul والسلام, said, the most smart one who accused himself with shortcoming in doing the good deeds, then he start over, refreshed himself, and start working hard in the ibadat. Start working hard in worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal in order to prepare himself for the life after death. This is the smart one. Do you know why? Do you, do you know why, dear brothers and sisters? Because life is very, the life is very short. Life is very short. Imagine 70 years, the average of life of this ummah, or 60, or very few who pass this number, let's say 100, in the scale of Allah Azza wa Jal, those years are maybe two minutes or three minutes. Imagine. So who is the smart? Who's going to invest the three or two minutes in a short life for eternal, long last life after death? This is the smart one. This is the smart one. Materialistic people who are thinking with material and they are disbelievers, they put five years plan, then ten years plan to build, to develop, to do, to create, to discover. Five, 10, 20, 30. And they might say it's long decades, long decades, 20 years, 10 years, 50 years. But the scale of Allah, maybe just <coughs> one or two minutes. Imagine. Imagine. So who is the smart? Who is the smart? The smart who receive the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal, intellect, understand, think deeply in the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal, then implement and practice. This is the smart one. 